Hey everyone, this is Taylor with Scott Rory Marketing and today I'm going to show you how to create business cards using command and how to place that order through the designs widget. So to start us off, we're going to log into agent.kw.com and navigate to designs. From here, we're going to create a design, which is in the upper right-hand corner. And we're gonna do print, since this is a material that we're going to create and then order. And that's gonna pop us into the WeBrand editor with lots of different templates available. Today we're going under business basics and there is business card section. And now you're gonna have lots of different options that KW has put together for you. When you've selected the one that you wanna use, just hover over it and click on the red use button in the upper right hand corner of that preview and then from here we're going to edit our information i'm going to select the text box that we want to edit Make our adjustments either this way using the tools up above. You can also drag and drop. If you have my assets saved, you can always swap out those text boxes, place text. Then swap out this information. Address. Again, you can swap out these text boxes if you have your assets saved and your headshot so under images again if you have my assets updated you can just swap that out you do have the option to manually add as well so if you have a photo saved on your computer that you're using as your headshot you can drag and drop that file right here as well Gonna switch over to page two. Make sure that the app code is updated and that my DBA logo is swapped out.
here. Since I don't have the proper logo, I'm going to add a shape. Edit that and then rearrange. Once you've created your card and you're satisfied with the way it looks, you have the option to order print directly through here. And then that's going to walk you through your options and how many you want to order. The next section walks you through the bleed area. So you can make sure that nothing is going to be cut off on the printing. And download the preview. And now you have the section where you can enter your address, your shipping information, as well as your card information. And once that's processed, it will be shipped. You do also have the option to download each of these pages as a PDF for printing. So if you have a local shop that you know that will take a custom design and print it for you, or maybe you have the ability to do this at your office, you can do that as well. You would just download the PDF just like we did before. And then you'll be able to send that to whoever you need to to get that printed.